Hey guys, Cosmos here from Dolly Games, and this is part 2 of the level 53 147,000 bell rating um, daily runs. Uh, we did in part 1 all the activity, we did the Twilight uh, Clash, and we did all the activities up to Erebus. And I'm gonna continue with the other stuff, uh, which is, and, and hopefully maybe we can catch some more Twilight Clash. Which is actually in 30 minutes, so we'll see about that. So let's do a Clash of Might first. Let's pick up the reward here. And hopefully, I can start ranking a little bit. Nice victory. So that gets me to rank 146. And the next guy, I think, could be too strong. I don't know, maybe I can win. Nope. But with enough attempts, maybe I'll I'll get lucky and and beat and beat the guy. But anyways, I'm not so stressed about um, winning here because it doesn't matter if you win, then you'll then you're gonna lose afterwards. It's just you gotta climb the ladder, let's say, for the ranking. So and to do that, just you gotta get stronger and stronger every day, and uh, you'll automatically just increase uh, increase your ranking here as you do your um, most of the times will be fails of course because if you do manage to get just strong enough to pick up um, the next ranking then of course the one after that is a lot harder so normally I imagine uh, the best case is like 8-9 losses out of 10 which is fine and I guess only the top guys are getting like 10 wins per day or something like that alright and the last one here is still a good source of experience and here you see experience and this is war soul actually gave me more um, a good amount of war soul uh, you know adding up to the stuff I picked up in farming let's do let's do let's do um, the campaign now for the main quest because I am tired of standing around. So actually, no. Let's do let's do angel bonding first because it's important to get Bodicea much stronger. So let's do 80, 80 times bonding. Get her up. Nice. One level four holy crystal as well. Oh, she got stuck. She got stuck. She needs thirty level four holy crystals and I own 25 that's already good that I own 25 I'm actually quite surprised about that but how am I gonna get more I'm not super sure yet maybe via the campaigns but it's only five more so I should hopefully be, be able to manage that now that she is maxed out there let's go over to beholders road and pick up um, our next main quest and this is going to be the first time I'm doing a campaign with my little fairy guy. And he is over here, Leon. And I bought both of them, the crackers and Leon that was on sale. So I'm not sure if they do something or they're just standing there. On the enemy side, we got Guardians who is a mage. Standing up front, which makes no sense. And another mage behind. So it's like mage on a mage. That's why they're dying so fast as well. Here goes Bodicea. Very strong attack. Love it. Oh, they can put up a shield. Not gonna help you. Awesome. So that's done. Let's go to the second guy. Asai Lee. Okay, we got Asai Lee who is a mage. Actually, they're all Asai Lees. Okay, mage level 53. So they should die because they're all mages and they don't have much health. So I expect them to die fast. They got level flow level one skill and forty-seven thousand health. So not not much at all. Here we got our dear Cerberus who is uh, activated in the glamour upgrade plus nine, freedom plus three, nice stats, and it's got health scream level four, which is twenty-one percent chance to increase player speed by fourteen percent. And attack by 7%. So that's pretty, pretty good. Especially for my main, who is an archer. Or I should say, hunter now, because he was promoted a while back. 
Alright, and here we got the main guy, Goron the Beholder, level 53, 187, 188,000 health. He starts immediately with Lava Flow, cause he started with High Rage, but man am I tearing him, tearing him into pieces. He's got not much left, but is he is gonna be, oh he dodged, but is he, that's funny. Oh he gets some mages to help him, yep. With nether arrow skills. But we should be good. There is the mount skill activation hell screen. So my main character is gonna go into crazy mode now, I guess. Let's see how hard he hits. 40,000. Okay, that was not so impressive. But that was also not his main attack. There is again hell scream. But Bodicea cleans up the enemies. Good, 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 good. This time I'm gonna take the fourth card. Darn it. Every time I take the different card, it's always giving me the lowest reward. Alright, we'll talk to Bruno and get rewards for finishing that. And Bruno is standing really close to the gate so we can do the side quest quite easily. Which is to clear, uh, to do a blitz five times. Oh, actually, that is with Trizod, but he's not that far away, so that's good. And now they let us go to Starcrest Mountains, which is the first um, campaign on the next map, which is good fun. So maybe it's going to become a challenge. Let's see. They they got seventy thousand bell rating, and this, they got this funny guy, Starphage, a warrior. 47,000 health and Fallen Star, also 47,000 health Hunter. But at least now they got the right setup going with the tanks up front and the archers behind. Dark Arrows taking out Zweihander. And here Bodicea. Very strong hit on everybody. Nice. Let's go on to the second guy. I like that the campaigns are fast. You got two guys basically, two monsters and a boss, which is all good fun. And now the formation is good. Straight away the front the front tank is taken out, but they got three tanks up front, which is plenty of time for uh, those hunters to do damage. I'm amazed at the speed at which they take out Zweihander. It confirms again and again that I need to get a second tank. Alright. And let's go for the boss. Nice looking boss, great astrologer with 167,000 health. But I'm expert at doing single target damage. 73,000 puncture almost takes out the, bo the boss. My main is an animal. But the Sia takes her out because there was not much left. We just got the two helpers left. Meteorizer. Each one actually has 108,000 health with Dark Arrow skill. Always taking out my Zweihander first. But my mount activations are really helping a lot. And what is here should finish it off. There it goes. Really happy about her. And there is our quest. Now let's take the third. No, still the worst. Whichever one you take, it's always the worst. So actually the cards I think are kind of a deceit then because it probably just decides on your click uh, what to give you and the highest chance of it, um, of it giving you the worst re uh, reward is the one that gets activated. Alright, let's go back to Bruno and give up, give the side quest turn it in and get rewards for that and we got necropolis of mist next one
and here we got army warriors as monsters that look like they will have a lot of health 50, 54,000 health with poison arrow and in the back mages also with poison arrow same amount of health bell rating going up to 80,000 so each campaign is getting harder and harder and this way Handler is dying faster and faster Pyrona's attack was dodged this is like really my weakness now Pyrona and Sway Hander and I really like the area damage the angel is doing and I'm missing some area damage hero I think but I don't have the money I only have eight and a half million gold which is not enough to get more topaz heroes I could get some guarded heroes but they are normally weaker actually at level 61 I think the next tavern opens up and there are strong heroes and I'm already 53 going to 54 so that's another possibility as well to just hang in there keep upgrading uh, the three strong heroes that I have and just hang in there until the next tavern is unlocked although how am I gonna get the stronger heroes I have no idea but you see they are getting stronger because nether knight is on less than half health alright enough for the main we got stone cutter as two separate words and she is she is at almost 200,000 health 194 with reincarnation level 1 so maybe she can raise people from the dead so let's have a look at that let's also have a look at the stats of um, my angel Bodicea 20,000 bell rating nether knight is not gonna be able to tank this so our guys better kill them fast everybody dodged and she healed everybody on top of that that was very unfortunate let's see if Nether Knight can hold hold on while wow, two crits take him out leaving the last row of course Pyron is gonna die really fast like this come on buddies yeah they're really good at dodging Genie heals everyone good good so that's you see the added value of having genie but the enemy boss is also a genie so nice finally get a buff up for my main from the mound and puncture takes out the boss that seals the deal no more healing good but that's already dangerous that's already borderline and always getting the worst gold all right let's take the online bonus rewards and see what's up with this mail we got nothing so why is the mail flashing take all collect just in case take all and collect no nothing in it all right we got raiders finishing synth for the smaller chests and uh, we'll go back to Bruno for the main quest get rewards and get stuck requiring level 54 to continue but anyways I didn't want to continue because it was already very difficult to pass the last one but what we can definitely do is we can blitz this and I'm actually gonna blitz all of all of my attempts and we didn't get a single holy crystal which is unfortunate let's go back to Bruno give that side quest I was hoping I'd level up to 54 with all those things but I just came right at the edge of it so stuck there let's do two recruitments which are free per day that's two cards one and two and we can click here on midnight tavern yes indeed level 61 required to unlock that and probably that'll give me access to Ruby. Yep, 
recruit Topaz and Ruby heroes. So that that will make definitely the Topaz easier. Even if if the Ruby will be too difficult, then the Topaz here will become just as easy as the Garnet becomes here. So that's definitely a possibility to do. On the daily task, Twilight Clash is still ongoing, and actually, let me enter it, which is a little bit weird. Oh, the guild bell has ended, so now we have occupied the best um, city here. So we see here in the help section, the top three guilds in Twilight, uh, Twilight Clash will automatic automatically become masters of that city. Each member of a master guild is able to visit the city and collect, collect the gifts and members entering a guild uh, after Twilight Clash of course cannot do it but we got the center city being the strongest and here are really good prizes um, what is this one member of winning guild win this much okay um, but let that was I clicked on view do child daily bonus but I'll do collect prizes now we get 60 guild honor 30 emblems and 10 treasure chests which is additional rewards that's why I said there are more things let's pick up the devotion 200 and we are stuck still for the rest uh, what else can we do upgrade astral wait I didn't know we, I can upgrade astral or how can I do this if I haven't leveled up that's a bit weird I think no I can't do it oh well Okay, let's go to drills and bring up um, Nether, Nether Knight and the Genie because they're still behind. Nether Knight at level 52 will let's do hard training to go to level 53. He's gonna match my level, but I'm gonna be t going to 54, so he'll catch up. And Genie's at 49 will come over to 50. So that's that's good, that's good. I'm not in a rush with that and we'll do then alchemy unfortunately with uh, level 53 I wanted to do it with level 54 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 thanks so that's alchemy uh, what else we can do is always he's asking for the devotion to train uh, and one of the best things you can uh, do is of course mounts uh, we'll do one click for getting him more stars and we'll do upgrade here um, let's just keep let's do one click and get it as high as possible because then I'll get 5% uh, additional bonus here for my main hero and the mount that's pretty good but it uses up all the blessed stones so that's unfortunate and it didn't upgrade as well another thing we can do is go and um, unsocket and socket a rune uh, not a rune but a uh, a gem so that that's also for devotion uh, one of the requirements to socket a gem so let's do that just take the weapon and take off the physical attack got a lot of gems already saved up at some point I'll start uh, again synthesizing them but I'm too lazy to do that now so that was for devotion getting us to 470 runes we can do runes let's go to character and we'll do runes and I got a thousand here more than a thousand so we'll do upgrade which requires level one rune stone which I do not have so where do I get this one eternal spire level one to two uh, which I guess you get it by luck but let's go to eternal spire where it actually finished the blitz so I didn't have to pay for it which is good but there is a shop in the spire as well which is over here and I thought it would be here but it's not all these items are apparently locked so then I, I guess I gotta get lucky here it says drops Armor in, uh, enchant stone, a rune stone, and enchanted ore. Uh, but that's for beating these guys, and they're really, really strong. Um, let Let's just try it out one time. But they are really strong. Two fifty eight thousand bell rating. They make short work of my guys. Yep, Zwayhander goes out. 
But I did get stronger, so this time it will be a bit slower. Okay, or not. They're still hitting really hard, but this time I managed to almost kill one of them. One, actually one goes out. My main is fine. Parona will die, of course. Without a tank, she's useless. Genie goes out. Main remains. And look at how tough my main is. Good, good. I'm happy that he's tough. He's still gonna die. But he's getting tougher. Which is good. Now, where do I get that rune stone? I guess it's here. You see, it drops only rune stones. So I'm not sure where you get uh, where you get the stuff that he's asking for. Character rune, and what he's asking for is this blue one, level one rune stone. And it says required for upgrading runes to level two. Found in eternal spiral, level one to two. And that could be because I'm not blitzing level 1 to 2. Rune shop. Okay, here it is. Well, I was in a different shop. So here I can buy for 50 a level 1 rune stone. So let's do that. I, I guess I went to the wrong shop. And let's upgrade. Why? Oh, he needs 20. He needs 20. I bought 1. I was being cheap. Let's go back. Rune shop, we need 19 more actually. That is a thousand. So actually, all my runes went on this rune stone, which is unfortunate, but at least we get to upgrade, which opens up two more, um, two more slots, which is great because before I was getting bonuses for my helmet and for my um, ring. For critical, for criticals, it was important. And next one, we'll be getting bonuses for boots and for greaves, which is very good. So I have 607, uh, 604 left. I'm gonna do a one click invest in everything. And we get helmet going to rank 2 1, accessory going to rank 2 1. They actually became blue or purple in the text, blue in the color, which is very good. So, I'm investing so far only in my main hero, although uh, other heroes can also have this. But um, I'm trying to make a really strong main hero. I don't know if that's a good strategy, but that's the one I'm going for right now. Let's check back with the Devotion 495. He wants me to upgrade Astral, I can't, and he wants me to enhance equipment. So what I can do is uh, go to Forge and do Synthesize, Show Synth only. And I can't do equipments, but I know that I got materials for rings and boots, which are here. I, I can do one boots, and I can do one rings, and one helmet. But helmets I don't need. Everybody's already got helmets. So, but I can buy a, a print, a formula for a ring and and boots, basically, which is in the arena shop. Let's pop on over there. Arena shop. We'll do next page for the Triumph Prince, and we're gonna buy a boots for ten and a ring for ten. And I think I have all the other materials, so that should be good enough. So show, show synth only. Go to equipment, and we're gonna upgrade two items. Good. Who got it? Who got it? Let me see. Another knight got it. And the boots, who got the boots? Zwayhander got the boots. Okay, let, let him have it. And we're gonna go to Forge, Enhance, switch over to Nether Knight, and enhance his ring to 30. I like the number 30, I guess. And let's go to Zwayhander and give. The boots increase to 30 as well. So I need still to do one ring, two ring, one boots. The weapons I'm not in a rush for, the staffs for Genie as well as Pyrona, because I it, it'll depend on which kind of heroes I will get next, so I'm not rushing for that. But anyways, that was enough also to get the devotion rewards for 545, so I can get the 500 rewards. Upgrade Astral's I can't do because I didn't level up. 
these things I didn't join, it's too late for that. The dungeons I can still do, but basically I cannot um, achieve the 600, but it's good enough already um, what I got now. Not to forget the retrieval of the stuff I always miss. So that's additional 200,000 gold and such, which is all very good. And that is most of the things. So let's do a round of tarots. These actually give good good rewards as well. This is like the easiest. That was the easiest one. <laughs> it's just luck when, when uh, they come right next to each other. So we got nice. Good so far. Wilkinese. Angel. White Pur purpose here. Pre white, pre use here, and Janice was there. Angel white, pre angel, angel is here. White was there. Smexy is there. Smexy purple, pretty Chinese, pretty is here. Smexy is here. Chinese is here. By the way, those words are just some words that I make up just to uh, remember the cards. It's kind of like a trick, I guess. Chinese pretty. And we got Smexy pretty. So pretty, pretty. We got Chinese Smexy left. Angel and Chinese. Chinese is here. So we got Smexy and Angel. We got Perp and White. And Angel was here. White is here, Smexy was here, and Perp is here. So that's good. The beginning levels are easier and you get used to it, uh, but otherwise um, it gets really hard. Oops. And now, since I was talking, I forgot who is where. So I gotta do it from my visual memory. It's also a good thing to, to, uh, to train your visual memory. I find. Oh darn it, why did I click there? Lucky I had the flips. It's getting more difficult. Got Angel there. Pretty white. Smexy Panda. Smexy is here. Pretty is here. White is here, and is here, and this is the last one. Awesome, I'm happy to get this far, honestly. I can win this one, but not the next one, I think. Nice. The angel. And the, oh, I'm, I ran out of flips. See. Okay, one is enough for for the recording. That was just good to go for the Twilight Clash. We are done, although um, at 11 supposedly we could start again. But basically the guild battle has finished and it's good there. What else we can do to um, get stronger? Let's pick up the Raider Synths, which are ready. We got a whole bunch of Soul Stones that can be invested as well. I also got for Angels Evolve which are these Seraph Stones. So I'm going to um, evolve her with one click. Hopefully it'll be enough to get her to go up. Oh, one click was enough. Awesome. Okay, that was really, really good. So we get Legendary 4 stars now. And I'll do one perfect evolve. What's that? Level 40 current quality Legendary cost a Mythic Angel marked, which I don't have. Can be evolved legendary to mythic directly. Success rate 100%. Um, yeah, I'd like to do that, but I basically don't have that item, so I can't do that. Um, the question is, where do I get that item? And that's something 
that I say used to perfectly evolve Angel of Ruby quality and above from Legendary level 4 to Mythic level 5 found in events. Okay, so Mythic Angel Mark. So let's go to Hot Events and see if we can find it there. Somehow I doubt it. Although, check it out, Bell Rating 153868. So for now, let's pick up all the stuff that we can pick up. One, two, three, four, five. All these shards. Also, these are for um, synthesizing Imperial Dragon King Soul. And so each time is giving two. I don't know how many I already have. We can check out in the bag. And only a couple of them I can't pick up. We got Tycoon Switches here, which I don't have anyways. Today's gift is more uh, group tickets. That's for the group purchase. Omnipotence for the different events. Exploring Raiders I can't do. Solar Arena. Oh, you can actually do more. Um, and basically all this stuff you can only do more if you pay for it, I think. So that's difficult. All around talents should be there for most things. Except, as always, Team Arena. I missed that. Fishing, I went crazy, so I can pick up two rewards here, and um, not not more. I guess some people go really crazy. Wow, I did two thousand points, and apparently somebody can go. Somebody sometimes does twenty thousand points. I think that that takes some pa patience, um, let alone money as well. So we'll get also gem enhancement stones here, and what else is? Flashing, we can get jackpot related stuff, spy related stuff, temple of doom, Tem test of Hades, compensation awesome 10,000 Warsaw, a little bit of soul stones, 30 seraph stones, 500,000 gold. Thank you very much. Update compensation, uh, almost the same amount, more great, but yeah, I don't see any, any of that special item in there. And so, basically, yeah, we I don't know where to get it, so I'll have to probably do manually. We can also check it out in the shop, if it's there, although I don't think so. And I just noticed there's a new icon for Divine War, so we can check that out as well. There's the little crackers I bought, and that's the, the Leon I bought. So, um, that also made me a little bit stronger. But no, I don't think it's here, I haven't seen it here. I also don't see anything, let's say, uh, super exciting that I might want to buy. They're all consumables, which I guess you can just buy. Here are the level 4s uh, you could buy, but they're like 400. And for 5 that I need, they'll be like 2,000, which I could give, I guess. It's not a huge deal. And, of course, a lot of wedding stuff. Okay, so that's for the shop. Let's check out what is this Divine War. I see it's a new icon. Okay, so there's a whole thing uh, going from introduction, hero selection, faction selection, commander selection. Then the Divine War happens, and then I guess it's the rewards. Event time is from the 1st of February to the 15th of February. And there's a whole, basically, section going one after another with the rules, characters, level 50 plus. With more than 300,000 bell rating, uh, can join Divine War event by running for hero or voting. And each server selects one hero um, and so forth. Basically, you can read it if you want. But it will not be for me because I won't make it uh, in that time to get 300,000 bell rating. But still, I'm growing quite good. I think 153,000 and counting. And let's see what else, what else, what else we could do. When you run out of ideas of what you could do, you can always check the devotion. Uh, but I've done most of the things here. Something I could do uh, always is to synthesize the gems. Um, I'm a bit lazy with that. But I see also that it's been more than half an hour we're recording. So um, let's do some trainings and, um, and, and stop with that. So we got also here is useful guide. You see the bell rating, my main hero, 46,000 bell rating. Then uh, my best next is the tank at 31,000 and genie is down at 20,000. So there's a huge difference. Genie is more than two times weaker than my hero. And if we look at Pyron, is at only at 14 and Zweihander is at 17. 
so they're they're definitely definitely weaker so um i have to change them it's not a choice um it's like a requirement almost already to change them they are uh, they were perfect for the lower level stuff, but as I'm increasing in level, they are uh, pretty much, um, yeah, just just carry on weight. They they take a couple of hits, but that's about it. And Pyrona also um, is just doing a little bit of damage, not not something major to speak about, unless it's uh, my mistake of doing something wrong with them. But I'm not super sure about that. Um, on angels, um, no, nothing we can do there. I was thinking to train Nether Knight some more, so we can do that here. Also important are these little uh, gem things. So when you enhance um, everything to plus 20, you get these stats. And then if you enhance everything to plus 30, you get more stats. And right now, he is lacking the boots. And once I get him the boots, I'll get those to plus 30, and he'll get more stats here. And this one is the icon for the gem combination. So if he's wearing level 3, he's currently having just 200 health uh, bonus, which is not much. But uh, once I get him to uh, wear all level 5 gems, he'll also get additional physical attack um, bonus with a little bit more health. And this one is for refining equipment. That's something I haven't done at all. Um, so that from there hopefully I'll get a big benefit when I start doing that I'm not even sure where that is so um, it's probably somewhere in the forge synth oh here it is refine so as you see my refines are absolutely blank still I haven't done them um, not not really um, a great reason <laughs> not to do them other than have being absolutely lazy about it and having not enough time but uh, you see, um, they have whatever they have, uh, and some things will be good and some things won't be good. So uh, if I start spending some of these refining stones, I can make those uh, their stats much, much better. So uh, I will do that as well, but for today, I think it's enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys like my two new mounts, which is this one. And I, I, I'm not sure which one to wear almost. Um, um, because I, this one I kind of like because he's so majestic and, um, and, and so that's why I kind of finish with him but he doesn't match my clothing um, which is more darkish evil unfortunately they don't have better clothing for me to buy straight away and um, but there's tons of clothing in the game I'm just not sure how to get it and that's why I'm um, I'm switching my glamour to uh, to Cerberus uh, who much better matches my clothing style uh, and he looks very, very evil. So um, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do click on like and subscribe if you did and share with your friends. That always helps a lot. And please remember, if you want to come and play League of Angels on AMG Game servers, just follow the link in the description of the video. And um, they'll get you there. That's my referral link. And then they'll know that you came via my presentation videos. Uh, so that's good for me. Thanks in advance for that. And anything else, please put down in the comments. If you got some advice for me, put it down. It always helps. I'm reading the comments and replying as much as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, there's still a lot, I'm sure, for me to learn in the game. But um, so far, so good. Having fun. And as you can see, uh, we finished now this video with uh, level 53 with 153,868 bell rating. And... Um, next time I log on, I'll automatically, I think, level up be just because of uh, patrolling. Like when you don't move, you start gaining experience. So um, next time I think you'll see me already at level 54. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching and have a very nice day.